Hello everybody and welcome to this lecture. Uh, I know I haven't posted a lecture in probably the past two weeks or so. I've just been busy with work and school and everything. I've just been really caught up, so I apologize for that. Uh, if you didn't get my message, I said that we are going to skip a week. Oh well, technically we're just skipping two lectures that I deemed uh, unimportant to the purpose of learning PHP for a beginner. So I've decided to move right onto a, a much more valuable skill set within PHP, and this is object oriented programming. Now, when I say object oriented programming, I mean creating reusable code for very specific operations. Now, we've created like functions and variables and all that jazz and we're going to be able to incorporate that within objects. So let's jump into things. Now like a function we create a new function by saying function and the function name and open close parentheses and any parameters and then an open and close curly brace to define what the function does. Now an object we're going to be calling it a class. So just like we were to create a new function, to create a new class, we just type the word class and then the class name. So we'll call it first class. But instead of a function, instead of like a function, we immediately just type an open and closing curly brace. So now a class can hold its own set of variables and its own set of methods. This is this is where reusability comes in handy. So, to give an example, say you have a website with a bunch of users and you want to be able to, you know, change like the user's email or any type of uh data that they've stored on their account. Well, with the class, we can create a new instance of a user class and be able to modify the specific user based on how we created that class. So, the first thing I want to talk about uh, within object oriented programming is scope. Now, there are three types of scope, technically, that we can use within classes. And those three are public, protected, and private. Now, these three can all be applied to variables and functions. But there's a difference between them all. A public variable or function can be accessed anywhere. So it can be accessed within the class or uh, by an instance of a class or by another class. A protected variable or method can only be accessed within the class that it was created for or by a, another class that inherits the first class that includes this protected variable or, or function. And finally, a private variable can only be accessed within the class that it was defined for. Now when I say accessed, when it comes to a public variable, when we create an instance of a class, we can access that public variable no problem. However, we wouldn't be able to access the protected or private variables unless we had certain methods to uh, get those values for us. So, let's jump into things. First, let's create three variables, a public, protected, and a private variable. Now, in order to tell PHP what kind of variable this is, what kind of scope it has, you just type the word public, protected, or private in front of the variable name. So, we can have public, we'll call it public, protected, we'll call it protected, and private, we will call this private. So, now that we have these variables, how would we be able to assign a value to them? Well, when we create a new instance of a class, PHP tries to invoke a certain magic method called the constructor. 
Now a constructor is only called when you create a new instance of the class or you can obviously call it yourself to reset everything to the original state. So in order to create this constructor we want to do like we do when we create a function. So we had function and the function name open close parentheses and I'll open close curly braces. But with with everything in a class it has to have some sign some kind of scope. So it's either private, public, or protected. Obviously, we want it to be some public method. That way PHP can access it directly. So we say public function. And now this magic method is called construct but it has two underscores in front of the name. So, we have public function underscore underscore construct and an open close parenthesis and an open close curly brace. And now, to assign values to these three variables we made, we can't just say public equals this and private equals that. We need to tell this method that we're trying to use the class variables instead of variables within the scope of this function. So if I said public equals whatever, it's not the same as this public variable we created up here. It's completely different. So how do we tell PHP that we want to talk to these these class variables? Well, we use a reserved variable called this and we use a, a hyphen and then a greater than symbol and then we just talk to the variable name. So this arrow public equals some public variable. And then we can do this for all three of them. So some protected variable. And then finally some private variable. Awesome. So how do we create an instance of a class? Well after the class is obviously defined. In order to create a new instance, we need a variable name. So class, we'll just call it class. And then to create a new instance, we say new and then the name of the class. And then an open close parentheses. Um, generally, if you have the construct function, you're going to want those open and close parentheses. However, if you don't have a constructor, you're gonna you don't need them. So now in order to access the three variables we created, what we do, like we did in the construct function, we have this pointing to some variable name. Well now that we have this instance of a class, we use that that variable and point it to the variable name. So let's go ahead and echo public. So we say echo class, which is the variable we created our first class underneath, and then and the arrow, and then the word public, which refers to the public variable inside of our first class. So now if I refresh this page, we're going to see it's some public variable. That's the value we assigned to it. So if I change this to some public whatever variable, and refresh, it's some public whatever variable now. What about protected? Like I said, protected variables and methods can only be called within the class or when they're inherited by some other class. So right now we're outside of the, the class, we're in an instance of a class, but I refresh, we can't access this variable. And the same will go for private. Can't access that because we're not in the class, we're only using an instance of the class. So, what if we wanted to change the value of, of one of these, or get the value of one of these? Well, generally, if you need to get these values somehow outside of the class, you will generally create a, a getter function. So, in, let's just play around with this private variable. So, we can have this public function, and we can have it called get private. And simply, we can just return 
this private. So, in order to access this get private method, we just say echo class get private, and then the open close uh, parentheses, just so we know it's a function. So now I can access some private variable. Awesome. What if we wanted to change it? Well, we can create a change private. And I'll give it a new parameter called new value. And so now we can assign this private equal to some new value. So now if I call this or class change private to a different private variable. Let's put a break here. Then if we echo class get private again, we will see since we change that value, it updates the variable. Now a cool thing about classes, if, if we create a second instance of the class and then we echo we can echo second get private you will notice it doesn't change because you you only call these these methods on the instance of the class you want to change them on so you can have multiple multiple uh, instances of the class but maybe you only want to change one of them so that way you can look at two separate instances of a class. That's how they differ from each other. There are um, magic uh, methods to get and set variables, but we're not going to get into those today. Um, but this is, this is a general idea of object-oriented programming. It's fairly simple, and it's very easy to use and it also reduces the amount of code you're going to have to write and everything has some specific operation so change private obviously changes the value of the private variable get private obviously returns the value of the private variable now what we can do with the constructor we can throw in some of our own variable names so we can call public protected and private. Now these variables sure they match up with the class variables but these variables are access to the scope of the function so we can say this public is equal to the functions value of public protected and private. So now this acts sort of like a function so I say new first class and then private All right, sorry that's public and then we have private actually that's protected whoops and then private so now I can say echo class public like so and I'll get the word public maybe I want to change that and since public is a public variable I can change it without having to go through a middleman function. So I can say class public equals new public. And then I can ac echo class public again. And you'll see new public. So I hope this uh, embodies the general idea of using object oriented programming in PHP. So stay tuned for another lecture on object oriented programming. And, yeah, perhaps after that I'll assign you a small assignment uh, where you guys can show me what you've learned through object oriented programming in the last uh, lecture or two of object oriented programming. And, great. So, I will see you then.